Hi, I'm Tim from Joby and I'm here to talk to you about the Joby Spin designed in partnership with Syrup Lab. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Spin, the Spin Phone Mount Kit and the Pan Tilt Bracket for Spin. Make sure you watch this video until the end and catch all the important settings information. With the Spin, smartphone creators are now empowered with 360 degree motion control allowing them to create moving time lapses, videos and panoramic stills. Simple and easy to use, the Spin is controlled via our dedicated Joby Motion app, available on iOS and Android. We will be updating this app regularly, but I'll cover more on that later. The Joby Spin pairs with any mount using a quarter inch 20 mount, so you could put it on a range pod, a handy pod, or our famous gorilla pod. You can use the Joby Spin with any phone mount, but we recommend using the GripType Pro, and conveniently, that's what's supplied in the Spin phone mount kit. First off, head over to your respective app store on either your iPhone or your Android and download the Joby Motion app. Plug your spin into a suitable 5 volt plug or socket using the included USB-C cable and give it around 2 to 2.5 two hours until fully charged. You'll know this when the orange light turns white. Mounting the spin is easy. Grab the grey base and screw onto your chosen support avoiding manual rotation of the upper and lower parts while doing this, especially when the product is on. Then add your phone mount, this time hold the red part of the spin. With the GripType Pro and other similar phone mounts, you can choose whether you want to shoot horizontally for some awesome YouTube content or vertically to get your TikTok game on. At this point, you should also turn off your phone's orientation lock. That way the app will work properly. Once you set up your phone mount, you can check the setup with the bubble level on the spin. Now secure your phone in the mount and hit the power button on the side to turn on your spin. Connect your spin by pressing the little Bluetooth logo at the top right of the app. This will bring up the connection screen showing units which are nearby and turned on. Connect by touching the little circle next to your device. At this point, you might be prompted for an update. Make sure you do this before proceeding. This is a good time to rename your spin if you want. A good idea if you have more than one. To do this, just long press the little pencil icon. When you're ready, tap back to the home screen and tap Create. You now have the option to create a time lapse, video, or panoramic still. Let's click Time Lapse and look at the settings. First, you can see the Start and End bar at the top of the screen. This is where you can start your start and end points. To move the spin, press and drag your finger along the screen. The spin will move with your finger. To set your start point, move it to where you are happy and tap the circle on the bar. It will turn white. Then move the spin to the end point in either direction and mark the end point by pressing the circle at the end of the bar. It will also turn white. Hit the return button and you'll go back to the start point. If you want to play back the movement to check framing, click the play arrow button. Now let's check out the settings by tapping the little Joby logo in the bottom corner. Toggle between pan and tilt modes depending on the orientation of your spin. Panning means the spin is rotating left and right. Tilting means the spin is rotating up and down. Change the speed in 5% increments and see how that changes the record time by referring to the yellow box under the start end bar. You now have the option to play with the interval. This is the time elapsed between the photos taken for your time lapse, and adjusting this adjusts how sped up the final time lapse is. A longer interval means there's more time between the shots, and so the time lapse is more sped up. Set the shooting interval either with the presets or with 3, 5 and 10 seconds. Again, note the total time for creation in the yellow box. Set a start delay if you want to be part of the shot. Swap between the rear and front camera. If you have a phone with multiple lenses, for example the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you can pinch to zoom the camera in and out and automatically switch between lenses, just like in the native camera app you may find that ultra-wide angle lens provides the best results. I do have to mention that using a phone camera lens that has optical image stabilization may result in shakiness in the video. On iPhones, the selfie camera and the ultra-wide angle lens 
don't have optical image stabilisation, so you may find that using these lenses results in the smoothest footage. Last setting option here is for tutorials. Click on that if you want a quick reminder. When you're happy with all your settings, just hit that go button and remember not to move the spin while it's busy capturing content. Now let's switch over to video. Click the back arrow and select video. You'll see the layout is the same, but instead of shooting multiple images, you'll be creating a moving video shot. Again, move the phone around by dragging on the screen and set your start and end points on the bar. Clicking on the settings, again, you can set pan or tilt, set the speed, add a start delay, or turn repeat on and off. The repeat setting will make the video go back and forth from your start to end point until you tap on the stop button. Great feature for creating B-roll. Just as before, when you're happy with all your settings, hit that go button and remember not to move the spin while it's busy capturing content. Clicking back for the last time, you can now choose panorama. This creates a still panoramic image between the start and end points. Add a start delay if you fancy one and swap your camera if you need to. You know the score by now, just hit that go button. Now at this point, if you have your time lapse, video or panoramic still, you can go ahead and share it. And to do that, tap back to the home screen and click the share button. This brings up your gallery of shots. Here you can do some basic editing and share to your favorite platform, or you can export the content for a bigger project. Okay, let's level this up with the optional pan tilt bracket for spin. This crazy tool allows you to connect two spin units for dual axis, moving time lapses, B-roll and video shots. Worth noting here, you don't have the option to create panoramic stills while using two spin units. Stick with one spin if you want that feature. Set up your original spin unit as before on your Gorillapod or preferred support. Screw in your pan tilt bracket. Now add your second spin unit and the foam mount ensuring that you secure each part appropriately by holding the respective base or top part stationary while securing your spin. If you absolutely need to manually adjust the spin unit to face a desired angle, please do so gently while the device is powered off. There is a helpful text reminder on the bracket that will let you know which way your phone screen should face and which way your rear camera should face. Basically, you want to make sure that you end up with the arm on the left of your phone with the phone facing away from you. At this point, you can opt for portrait or landscape mode. Just for a change, I will show you in portrait mode. Turn on your app and connect using the little Bluetooth icon on the top right of the screen. Key point here, try to connect the spin on the bottom of the bracket first. You'll know if you haven't as the controls will be back to front. If that happens, you can disconnect and reconnect in reverse order. If it helps, rename your spin units on the connection screen by long pressing the pencil button next to the name. Alternatively, if you happen to set up the spins in the wrong order, you can easily fix this by pressing the pan tilt button in the settings dial. Creating is simple. You still have the star end bar at the top, but this time dragging left or right pans and dragging up and down tilts. Use these two axes to set your start and end points as before and create some amazing motion time lapses or videos. This bracket is awesome for sweeping landscapes, astrovideography, and so much more. Remember, all your settings are the same as with just one spin unit. You just lose the panoramic functionality when using two units. Also, remember that the devices will move in a straight line between your start and end points. When you're ready, just hit that go button to create some insane content. To preserve battery life, remember to power off your device by holding down the power button for two seconds. So there you have it. Awesome 360 app-driven motion control with the Joby Spin. And a killer upgrade with the pan tilt bracket if you have two spin units for two axis control. To learn more about the Joby Spin and our other products, check out joby.com and our other tutorials over on our YouTube channel. Direct links to these can be found over in the settings screen. And remember, have fun, create.